Hello everybody, it's Tom and Jerry Fan 64 here, and as promised from the last video when I reviewed Free Guy, I said I was going to be reviewing The French Dispatch, so yeah, I'm re reviewing the Wes Anderson's latest movie, The French Dispatch. This is a 2021 movie, and it stars uh, has an all-star cast including Benicio Del Toro, Adrian Brody, Tilda Swinton, Lee Sedukes, who I believe was in the one the Bond movies, Bond. I think she was in James the Daniel Craig uh, a couple of the Daniel Craig Bond movies. I could be wrong. And also has Frances McDormand, who is a great actress. Even though the only other movie I've seen with Frances McDormand was Something's Gotta Give, so I need to see more of her movies. And also has Timothy Chalamet, who was in the movie Dune, which came out the same year as this movie. And also has Linda, Lena Codor, Codry, Jeffrey Wright, Bill Murray, Owen Wilson, Christoph Waltz, Edward Norton, Jason Schwartzman, Elizabeth Moss, and Aeon Joelka Houston as the the narrator. Excuse me. This is a great. This is probably my favorite Wes Anderson movie in a long time. It's nowhere near as good as the Grand Budapest Hotel, and it's not as good. I think it's. I don't think it's as good as Fantastic Mr. Fox either or Moonrise Kingdom, but it's definitely my fourth. It's, I think it's better than Moonrise Kingdom, but not quite as good as Fantastic Mr. Fox and the Grand Budapest Hotel. See, this is now my... my it's, it's probably my fifth or sixth favorite Wes Anderson movie. I will do a video, video doing my top five or top six or top seven, whatever, Wes, fa favorite Wes Anderson movies. I will do that sometime soon. So yeah, I'm going to give the movie The French Dispatch a 10 out of 10 stars and an A-. minus. I don't understand why this movie didn't win in an award in the 2022 awards, movie awards or whatever it's called, the Golden Globes. I don't know why it didn't get nom. I hope it got nominated at least because the performances by every single actor in this movie, including Owen Wilson, this was probably his Wes Anderson's best movie since the Grand Budapest Hotel. It's a great movie. Really, really great movie. It's probably behind the Life Aquatic. See, so yeah, I will do a video of my favorite Wes Anderson movies soon. And I will be talking about Isle of Dogs in that list. So yeah. This was definitely better than Isle of Dogs. Even though, don't get me wrong, I loved the movie Isle of Dogs. But I think it's my least favorite Wes Anderson film. So yeah, that is it for my movie review to The French Dispatch. In which I'm going to give this movie a 10 out of 10 stars and an A-, like I said. And I will be doing a video of explaining more of my favorite movies of 2021, which was last year. And I will add this one on the list and The Last Duel. So yeah... This one is very underrated. It definitely deserves your time if you're a fan of Wes Anderson. So yeah, that is it for my review to the movie The French Dispatch, in which I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm definitely going to get this movie on either DVD or Blu-ray, one of the two. I'm probably going to get the DVD of it. So yeah, that is it for my review to the movie The French Dispatch, in which I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like always. And if you're generous enough, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribe, plus it really helps out. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, everybody.